Hello everyone, welcome to Marlin Chess Kiss. Today I'll show the gameplay by Dragon and Albert and this beautiful game complete in 39 move with a brilliant queen sacrifice as the last move. And let's see how the game play. The game starts with the pawn to d4, knight f6, knight f3, g6, bishop to f4, bishop to g7, e3, and the black go for a short castling, then bishop to e2 prepare for a short castling, and now uh, d6 was played. And this is the first five move, and here you have the Torre London code system. And in this position, it is uh, equal for both sides. Then the game continues with h3, knight f to d7. And here you have the idea to prepare to move the pawn to f5. After this, the white just go for a short castling. Then e5 was played, trying to attack the bishop. And after this, the bishop just back to h2 then the knight continued to develop to c6 and here c4 was played and now the black just pushed the pawn forward to e4 and attack the knight and here you can create a structure such as uh, push up all the pawn and control all the center square so after this the knight The knight just moved to d2 and now the pawn to f5 was played and here this is a first 10 move and you can see that the white is better or at least slightly better in this position after this the white continued to develop the knight to c3 then knight to f6 then the rook to b1 and here the black continue to move the pawn to g5 continue to make the strong attack and here the white go for a queen side attack with playing a b4 pawn after this the knight trying to bring towards to the king side knight to e7 and here c5 was played and after this the black do not want to go for the action and push the pawn forward after this the queen move queen to b3 and here you have the direct attack of the pawn and also pin the king so the king just move king to h8 to keep the king in the safe place so this is the first thing they move and now the white is clearly better in this position and the game continue with the pawn to f3 then uh, c6 was played and after this the b5 continue to attack the queen side so the knight just move to g6 without need to worry about the pawn capture and here the pawn e the pawn at f just capture the e4 pawn so just capture and pawn capture again so after this move After this move, the white player bishop to d6 and attacking the rook and the rook just moved to g8. So you here with this rook, you have the future pin direct to the king. And here, after this, the white just capture the pawn and the pawn <coughs> capture it back. B takes c6. So here is a first 20 move and the white is pretty better. Then the queen just moved to a4, trying to attack the pawn, and the queen just moved to e8 to protect the pawn. So after this, the white continued to play with the pawn to g4, and after this, h5 was played, and this is a very strong move, a very good move. So. Here, you need to capture the pawn and if you don't capture, you have the three pieces attack the pawn and 
only protect by two pieces and here the black will be winning in the action so the pawn just captured and now the black made a knight position sacrifice so this is a very nice interesting move with a knight position sacrifice to get a very good position and here you have now you see the rook you have the direct pin so after this the pawn just captured the knight and you can see that the position still in equal without saying that it's a winning uh, three point ahead so after this the g takes the point and in the actual game if you, you capture with the bishop and you can see it still maintain the equal position so at this move the best move will be capture with the rook because this is a false move is you want to stay better with the white and you can just move the king to h1 to prevent the strong threat from the black so after this the bishop can just open check and to bishop to h6 and open check and capture it back the rook so if the king goes to f1 then the bishop can just capture the pawn and continue check and then if the king goes inside then you can just capture the rook and after that bishop capture then this will remain the position equal but if you move the king up then this will be a terrible mistake because the pawn can just check and fall and win the knight and if the king move wrongly again to f3 then you have to push up to g2 and this will be a checkmate a very nice idea of checkmate so in the actual game after this move the bishop captured the pawn and after this the bishop continued to play bishop h6 trying to attack the bishop and this also allowed a turn check and after this the king just moved to h1 then the queen continued to play uh, queen to e6 trying to capture the pawn and check mate so if you move any wrong mistake moves such as queen to b3 then the queen will just capture and you have the check and now the bishop block then you have the queen to g2 and it will be a checkmate so back to this position the only way to keep the balance will be playing such as a uh, bishop to g4 so here the knight will just capture and the pawn capture then the rook will capture and here you have the check at the h file after this uh, you can play a uh, bishop continue to check then uh, the bishop can block and after capture then the king can capture then the rook to g1 to force the action so after rook capture you can just capture again then now any move of the king and it will be better for the white after the series of action and we have the extra piece so bishop g4 will be the best way to keep the balance so after this move in the actual game bishop h2 was played and now the queen just captured and the next move will be just queen to g2 and will be a checkmate and so you have a very strong attack from the black so after this move the rook just move to f2 then the bishop to to double up the rook d1 then bishop just capture the knight knight then the bishop goes to f1 continue to attack the queen and the queen just goes back behind and also maintain multiple attack and after this the rook just capture the bishop and here the 
Black can have the winning move by playing a knight takes the h5 and after this if you make any move such as uh, a3 then the knight can go here and check and the king go up then the queen can come to h3 and check the king and now if the king move to g1 then you have a uh, queen takes the bishop and it'll be a checkmate and if you move the king to f2 the queen will also will take the bishop and check and the king go up then you have the queen to f3 and it will be a checkmate or you can just use the knight to f5 and it will be a checkmate as well so you have a very interesting idea to checkmate so after this move the black play rook a to f8 and then the knight continues Then the knight now capture the pawn at h5, continue to make the attack, and now the bishop to g2. Then after this, rook f6 trying to prepare for a double up. And here, the king h1 is a strong, it's a good move to prevent from the check and also it will be safe. And here, you do not capture the pawn, the this free pawn at a7. If you capture this, then the rook will just double up, you can go to h6. And here, if you now move the king to g1, then the knight will continue to act. And here, you have the multiple attack. And it's much a uh, very nice game for the black to play. So if you just capture, then the queen will just capture. And now if you come knight to f1, then you can just push the pawn. And you have multiple attack for the black. So if you make a rook to e2 to defend this, then the queen can go to queen to h and after this if the rook capture then here you have a sacrifice with the rook and you can make in 11 move for example if the king capture then you have the diagonal check bishop check king to f3 then continue diagonal check king to g2 and now you have the queen to h1 you have a very beautiful diagonal check again and after this king to g3 then Queen to g1 check and king to f4 then a queen to f2 check now if the king capture now we have a rook check then king to g5 uh, queen to f4 check then king to g6 and you have a very nice check with the rook so basically this will be a very nice idea to check man. so after king g1 in the actual game uh, the black move knight to g3 and here you can now capture the pawn and you'll be winning so after this queen just capture the pawn and then the bishop to h3 then this is a critical path to capture the bishop then goes to f3 and you have to open check with the knight after this the queen just goes to c7 and here the queen to h6 and you can see and even though this position is very terrible for the white but the position is equal and now the rook to e1 because the white has at the extra piece after this, the bishop just captured. Now the rook just capture it back. You can capture it back with the rook, but instead of capturing back the rook, the black play rook to f2, and with this, the white, the black is winning the game. If you capture the bishop.
this shop and it will be made in two for example you have the queen capture the knight and now the rook capture then you have the rook to f1 a checkmate it's a very nice checkmate so at this position the best move will be use the knight to capture and if the knight capture then the rook will be captured by the black queen takes d2 and after this bishop will continue to capture and protect the rook and now the queen will just continue to capture and check then the rook to e3 and if you capture the and the queen will just capture it back so it just will be the action and in this version it will be slightly the equal same and the white will have an edge so back to this move rook f2 was split and here then the black player bishop to f3 and it will be winning and made in about 20 move and this version is quite better you have a multiple attack you have a discover attack and discover check so after d2 knight to g2 was played and at this move the black is winning and made in 4 I give a couple of seconds to figure out how to continue in this position and win for the black well congratulations for those who found the answer and for those who like to enjoy the show here are the moves after this move the black is made in 4 and the brilliant move is the queen sacrifice and capture the bishop after capture the bishop now you, the black has only one move to capture it back the queen and after capture it back the queen now you just continue to play rook to h6 and it will be a check and if you block with the knight then the rook will just capture and if you go to g1 you have the rook to h1 checkmate and after this queen capture the in the actual game the white resign the game and if you capture the queen and you move the rook to h6 check if you try to escape inside such as king to g1 you have the rook to h1 checkmate so at this move after this check there is nothing much you can do for the king so if you move the king it will be checkmate if you move the knight it also will checkmate so after this queen sacrifice the the white is losing and you can't save the game with this brilliant sacrifice so this rule and this attack you have a many pin for this so with this thank you